Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here today back on F1 2020 once again in what is this sort of recreation of the Australian, I was about to say Australian, Austrian <laughs> Grand Prix. It takes place every year at the Spielberg Red Bull Ring, formerly known as the A1 Ring. Today back in Formula 2. So far this weekend I've raced in Formula 3, Porsche Super Cup, done the actual F2 uh, feature race earlier on in the weekend. And yeah, that, those were a lot of fun. Go check those out in my previous video. I think we had a, a sixth place finish in Formula 3. Super Cup didn't go as well. But the F2 feature race, we had an awesome, awesome finish. We managed to finish second, which was the best result I've had all year by a mile. I think it's the only time we've got points so far this season, let alone on the podium. So what that means is we are starting out of, I believe, seventh. Uh, I think it's the re they reversed top eight, but anyway quite count how many cars are in front of me we'll figure that out on the on the outlap but yeah so starting off of seventh i believe we as you can see racing in the rain which is not what i expected i thought it said it was going to be dry the entire weekend but it does mean it's going to be a rather interesting first lap or so especially in this car which is just so much wheel spin because the massive turbo and not overly large amounts of uh, downforce to meet it even though there is quite a lot of downforce overall on these cars compared to other open wheel cars uh, setup wise just got a setup off the steam store even though it's properly uh, set up for the dry so as you can see because of park ferme rules we can't actually change anything other than brake bias and the front wing so that means it's gonna be even more sketchy than what I had previously anticipated. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get off on this formation lap. Uh, yeah, seventh, I was right. Oh God. See, it's just that the sort of second kick that, or turbo lag as you I guess you could call it, where all of a sudden it all kicks in at once. It's gonna be a difficult getaway, but yeah, this, this is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Sprint race in the Formula 2 category on F1 2020. Austrian Grand Prix. Oh. Poor getaway. Very poor getaway. Jeez, man. AI are super OP. Oh, hold on to it. Couldn't quite see where the first corner was there. Oh, come on, get that traction down. Up the hill for the first time. Just about trying to hold on to the spot in which we qualified. Just about guess the braking zone. Oh, I'm on the curb, but you can actually get away with running on the white lines, unlike what you would in, in real life. It's okay, because I've actually gained a spot now. Actually got a teammate in front of us. Come on. Let's go. Struggling for traction right now. Turn. So 14 laps is the race distance, which is around half of what it is in real life. Uh. Now into this far section. Usually I'd be avoiding all the painted lines at all costs, but thankfully we can... Oh, no. <laughs> we wouldn't abuse that much <laughs> mana curve, but I have got corner cutting set to normal, not strict, because I find the strict setting a little bit too strict. The AI difficulty is set to, I believe, 100%. I can't remember if I set it to 110 or 100, but it's one of the two, but I am really struggling to get off these corners. figure out the right throttle setting because it, there is just a huge turbo lag and it's like all of a sudden it, uh, I'm not, I haven't got enough throttle then bang it just starts wheel spinning and so it's almost like you got to go down heavy on the throttle then come back out of it and then go back down on it again it's really sort of screws with your head a bit Seems to be okay through this sector, sector two and sector three. It's sector one right now. I'm struggling. Oh, Jesus. Right. 
because of the corner cutting setting I'm not going to get picked up for track limits like you would in real life but still I like to keep it a little bit realistic I think I should just leave it in third there but the thing is I want to go down gears to help the rotation of the car but at the same time I don't want to have to go up sort of through so many gears trying to minimize the wheel spin just lower gear. well the higher gear will give me less wheel spin and enable me to sort of more just manage the throttle rather than try and short shift turn you bitch I don't think I don't think the karting lines work in F1 2020 like they do in real life if this was real life, I would not be driving where I am right now. See through here, just so much more pace. It's the fact that because I'm running a dry setup, I've got a lot stiffer suspension than I should do. I'm all over him through here. Can't get off that slow stuff. Brilliant. Nice move. See, uh, just, they can really sort of jack up and accelerate off those corners, but I'm unable to. Oh, that's too deep now, that's too deep. No, Joseph. Idiot. Nine. Try and overdrive the car now. No, no, no. Uh, don't do that. Uh, just lost two seconds in that last sector to the guy in front. It's not gone well. That's not much better. Come on, I've got to just have a clean lap so I can use the pace through that second and third sector. Can't get the braking right into the hairpin at all. spinning in fourth. Oh, that's track limits. <laughs> We did a 25-2, so we have good pace because the guy in front of us is the fastest guy on track right now, and we're just about keeping with him. Gotta get away from these guys behind. limits again <laughs> in 
definitely get away with using a lot more curb in, <laughs> in the game than what you would in real life. The problem is I can't get close enough to really make a pass in the usual areas that you would pass on this track. Oh, yellow flag's out. Someone said uh, an issue. So it must have been behind us. Oh, that was the, that was the guy right behind us. Delta number positive as we form up. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Oh, this is going to make things interesting. Yeah, because I swear Bokalachi was actually behind us. That's interesting. Oh, come on, don't use the tyre on the safety car, you knob. Alright, well, we'll form up behind the safety car and have at it over this last sort of couple laps. Alrighty, safety car is in this lap. Time to go back to racing and just try and get on this guy's ass. Get a good restart. See if we can actually go forward rather than backwards. We're still in, in seventh, which is where we qualified, but gotta get a good restart here, come on. Alrighty, here we go. So we got around five laps to go. Let's make it worth it. Oh, thought about it there. Ah, should have sent one. Now I'm defending. That's why you pass will be passed. Not get off that first corner, it's really doing my head in. Ah, you twat. What a prick. Ah, Joseph. Fail. I can't believe I did that. Das ist nicht gut. Send one here. Will be 
So it is pos uh, properly pissing it down now. It rained at the steering Grand Prix, especially on the Saturday. That was ridiculous. They barely got this race in in the, uh, well, the feature race for the F2 category, but the actual Austrian Grand Prix was okay. If I could just not fuck up. Last lap of the race, got to send one here. Ah, what the fuck? Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just send it. Ah, my front wing's hanging off. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, well, we'll come away with a, I think it was a nine, a tenth. Oh, damn it. Qualified seventh, tried to go forward, and every time I tried to go forward, just end up going backwards, but... Not as good a race as I was hoping for. Tried to send it out the last corner, ended up getting, I think it was like locked behind him or something, locked up with his rear end. Uh, it's not gone well. But we grabbed two points because I think we had the fastest lap, so I guess it's not too bad. But yeah, definitely could have been much better. Standings were in 12th. So definitely a lot further forward than what we were earlier on in the season. I think we're still leading. Yeah, we're smashing it. Because my teammate is just destroying the rest of the field. He's like 43 points ahead, Jordan King. So <laughs> that's helping us out on the team sort of side of things. But yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more uh, F2 action throughout the year. Stay tuned for Formula 1. That's going to come up tomorrow. Hopefully we can actually get another decent result. We had an awesome result at Monaco Top 5, and yeah, in AlphaTauri, we've got plenty of pace around here. So until then, catch you guys later.